What's up guys? Welcome back to the Living Mad Channel where I talk to you all about how I'm living my American dream. So today I want to talk to you about FOMO. This is a term that you all have probably seen a lot online recently and I started seeing it and at first I didn't know, know what it meant till I looked it up and realized it means fear of missing out. So as a, as a basis of this I want to talk to you about three things. Relationships, career, and money. If you haven't seen my introductory video, What is Living Mad, I'll link it up here somewhere so you guys can watch it. But those are three, the three topics that I, that I kind of focus my channel on because in my opinion, those are three things that if you can get right, can definitely set you up for living your version of the American dream. So the first one, we have a fear of missing out when it comes to choosing our partner. If you haven't seen my divorce video, I'll link it up here. So, so you can get a little insight into what it was like for me as I was going through my divorce. But I can tell you going in that first marriage and then when I was dating and now I'm a follow on marriage. One of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people have this, I guess, fear or idea or they get caught up in the mindset that there's someone better out there. And sometimes that happens when you've been together for a little while and you kind of get complacent in the relationship and you start to take each other for granted. Maybe you're arguing with each other. Maybe that the marriage or the long-term relationship has lost a little bit of that, that fire that you once had, especially when you were first dating or, or newlyweds. And then you start to see other people out there having fun. Maybe you're a guy and you see a woman out there who's very good looking and you think, well, you know, maybe my wife's gained a little bit of weight or you know, now she's older, she's got some wrinkles, and you start to think, I could do better. And so that's a trap that we all, all often fall into, is thinking there's somebody better out there. But here's the thing. You have to stop expecting to find a perfect match. Now, I'm sure there's people out there somewhere in this vast world with billions of people. I'm sure there's people out there who have that perfect match, who have that soulmate that Hollywood loves to talk about and they're just made for each other everything just clicks but for most of us the odds of finding that perfect soulmate are unlikely you're probably more likely to win the lotto but you watch TV and you read all these romance novels and all these things and we get it in our head that we have to find this perfect match this perfect person but more than likely that person's not out there you can make a list of all the things that you want in your partner I know I did Especially after my divorce, I had a list of what are the things that are important to me? What am I looking for in a woman? What am I looking for in a relationship? Those sorts of things. And I think it's important to do that. I'm not, I'm not discrediting that by any means. I think it's good to establish for yourself what are the things that matter to you. Because otherwise you don't really know when, you're, when you find the right person. So you should do that. But you should understand that, again, more than likely you're not going to find somebody that meets every single one of those things on your list. In addition to that, no matter how extensive your list is, you're more than likely going to miss some things. There's going to be things that are going to matter to you in a long-term relationship that you will not even realize are important to you until you're in that relationship. Whether it's how they handle their finances, whether it's what kind of things they like to do on their time off from work. I mean, all these little things, all the little nuances of just everyday life that we just can't fathom, that we just can't envision when we're thinking about a long life, a partner to be, to be with us for that, that long time. We can't think of it all. So no matter how much you try, you're not gonna find somebody that meets everything on your list. And when you do find somebody who you, who you love and you wanna make your lifelong partner, you're gonna realize that there's some things that they bring to the table that never even occurred to you would actually matter. And those are gonna be benefits. Now, yes, there's gonna be things that maybe are the opposite of what you wanted on your list. Maybe, I don't know. I know me, for example, I love blonde hair. My wife is a brunette. There may be things like that where you have this idea of this is the perfect woman for me and you're gonna to have to accept some of those differences. And they may be small and superficial, like hair color, nobody really cares, right? Well, some of you might, but at the end of the day, it's not a, it's not a huge deal, it's not a deal breaker. There may be other things that are a big deal, so you gotta figure out for yourself 
what are those things that are a big deal and what are not and find a happy medium because if you get caught up in this whole thing of oh my girlfriend my boyfriend my spouse is this and I really wanted that and you see somebody else out there who you think matches that better than your current partner you're in for a surprise because it's so easy to see somebody on the outside and think oh they would be such a, a much better partner but unless you're actually with them dating them marrying them spending every second with them day in day out unless you're going through the ups and downs of real life which marriage can put you through a lot of trials and tribulations unless you go through all that you don't really know if that other person is better suited for you or not so you build up this idea in your head that this person's a better partner and because of that you start looking at your partner in the negative light like oh I'm miserable because I'm with you and I could be with that person but really you don't know you're just building up this fake story in your head so stop stop this whole fear of missing out about partners know who you're know who you're committing yourself to whether it's a new relationship or a long-term relationship and then maintain that commitment through everyday actions the way that you act with them the things you expect from them or that you accept from them and, and carry that forward so that you don't become complacent so that you don't take each other for granted all right moving on to career like i said this is another topic that i think is very important a lot of us end up in careers jobs that we don't like and we get up in the morning which is dread going to work maybe we don't like the people we work with it, it feels like it drains us takes energy out of us instead of giving us energy so career is definitely a big thing but again this is another one of those things where we sometimes imagine that a different job is going to make us happy but you don't really know for yourself what is it that you're trying to get out of your job because there's different things that can come from from work maybe you want money so you need a job that's going to give you a high salary maybe you want the status that comes with a certain job say being a doctor being a lawyer being a politician you want that status right maybe it's personal satisfaction some sort of fulfillment that you get out of the job I will tell you for me being an active duty marine 22 years now this is something that's important to me I want to have a job that gives me a sense of purpose something that makes me passionate about and this is also why I started making YouTube videos because short sure, making this 15 minute video might seem like it's a short video but the preparation sometimes takes a little bit of research kind of planning out what I want to say in the video these things take time so a 15 minute video might take me five six hours to make and you guys don't see that in the background but the reason I do this is because it's something I'm passionate about being here and, and being able to share things that are important to me being able to share how I've achieved this American dream for, at least for myself if you lived my life you might not think this is the American dream but I feel like I'm living the American dream being able to share with you some of the hardships that I deal with in the hopes that you understand that hey my life isn't perfect nobody's life is perfect but we can still live the American dream so doing these things fill me with passion they give me a sense of fulfillment a sense of accomplishment and because of that my career and my side hustle some of the things that I volunteer with on the side they all kind of align they all fulfill that need that I have so you need to figure out what is it that you want out of your job and do the things that are going to help you get to that job but if you but but also understand why is it you want those things if you say you just want more money and you go through the years of training to become a lawyer or to become a doctor or go into sales sales is going to make you a lot of money if you're a good salesman you're gonna to have to put in a lot of hours so if you're saying hey I just want to make a lot of money what is it that you want to do with that money and we'll talk about the, the money piece in a little bit but so you have to make sure that whatever it is you want out of that job has a purpose behind it and aligns with your morals your values your ethics so that when you get that job with those things that you said you wanted you don't find that oh my god this isn't what I thought it was um, and, and you still end up unfulfilled you still end up maybe depressed and still looking at other jobs like okay well maybe if I had that job I'd be happy and I'd be living the American dream or if I had that job I wouldn't be so miserable all the time so you got to make sure you you don't just analyze the pay and the location 
and the people you're working with, you got to look at all different aspects of it. Look within yourself and figure out what matters to me, what's important to me, and then does this job fit that mold? Or if you're looking at another job, because again, fear of missing out, if you're looking at another job, will the, the benefits of that job give me the things that are important to me? Right, the thing, third thing I want to talk to you about is money, power, and fame. A lot of us will say, if we just, if I just made, I don't know, twenty thousand dollars more a year, twenty grand a year more, I'll be set. Some people will say, maybe not more than what I make now, but if I get to where I can make six figures, if I can make a hundred grand a year, I'm set. If I can make a million dollars a year, I'm set. And we'll see rich people, we'll see millionaires, who are committing suicide, cheating on their spouses, and doing all these outrageous things. And sometimes we think to ourselves, how can you? A millionaire with this big mansion and your fancy cars and you're traveling all over the world and maybe you're a bachelor and you're dating all these supermodels how can you be miserable if I had your life if I had your money or your power or your fame I would be living the American dream everything would be so perfect and we and again we we have that fear of missing out like our life is not enough because we're not living the life that that other person is living but again what I would ask you is what are you going to do once you have more money, once you have more power, once you have more fame? If you want more power, what are you going to do with that power? Maybe you want to be governor, president, or CEO of some major corporation. But what are you going to do once you get in that position that is going to fulfill you? Maybe you say you want more money, you want to make $100,000, a million dollars. What are you going to do once you have that money? Do you just want the money because you want to buy gadgets for yourself? Do you want it because you want to be able to take care of your children, maybe leave them an inheritance, an endowment, so that they have a sense of peace as, the, as they go through adult life. Maybe you want to start some sort of corporation, a nonprofit, a scholarship fund, some sort of youth center. What What is your purpose for wanting more money? Because money is not going to be able to solve all of your problems. Money can buy a lot of things that can make your life a lot easier. And this is one of, one of the focus of my channel is money because I sincerely feel that having your finances in order and having money to support your lifestyle is a big deal. But in no way do I believe that money can solve all of your problems. Money can't make somebody love you. Money can't make your children be good people. So money is not going to solve everything. So why do you want more money? If you want fame, what, what's the purpose of having fame? My oldest son, he's very big into music, so we listen to a lot of music together. One of the things he's talked to me a lot about is how many of these artists make these songs and they talk about how, you know, at one point all they could dream about, all they wanted was to get to a point where everybody knew them. Everybody knew their songs, they knew their names, they followed them, and there were these big celebrity superstars. And then they get to that point and realize it's not all that cracked up to be. For one, you lose a lot of privacy. For two, it takes a lot of work to get to that level and then to maintain between the tours and constantly having to practice your, your craft. I mean, it's, it takes a lot of work to get there and maintain there. So they realize, you know, this thing that I wanted is not what I thought it was. And they kind of lose maybe that, that connection that they had to music. It's no longer about the music. Now it's about the fans or it's about the fame and all these things. So when we, when we have this fear of missing out with with these sort of things, money, power, and fame. We need to assess for ourselves, why is it that I want that? And is there something else that I can do that can help fill that void? Because maybe we want to be famous because we feel a, a void of relationships, of partners, family. And we think if we're famous, everybody's gonna love us and that's gonna fill a void. Maybe we want more power because we feel powerless in our own lives. So we gotta find ways to, to help us feel empowered. Maybe we want money because we don't feel comfortable, we feel afraid, we're nervous that we can't afford to pay the bills, whatever the case may be. So you got to figure out how to, how to resolve those problems without always trying to strive for these big old grandiose things. Now in no way am I telling you that you shouldn't shoot for the moon. What I am telling you is you have to sh figure out for yourself which moon are you going for, how far are you willing to take it. And understand that 
Just because you don't get this big grandiose thing does not mean that your life is not great. Your life can be great without having a million dollar yacht and women in bikinis all over your yacht and the big man chill with three supercars parked outside. You can still have a great life. Now sure, having those things might be great and if that matters to you, awesome. Maybe you'll get them and you'll be even happier. Who knows? But don't feel like you have to have those things to live a great life. Don't feel like if you're not getting these other external things that you're not living a great life. Because at the end of the day, there's two things that I'm going to leave you with, right? End of the day, if you get everything you could possibly want, there's still going to be more. You can make a list of all the things that you want, and once you get those, I guarantee you, you're going to be able to think of more. So you're never going to be able to get everything. That's the second thing. You can't possibly do everything. Your life as a human being is way too short. The world is too big and too diverse. You can't do everything. You can't travel to every single place on earth. You can't meet every good looking person there is in the world. You can't make all the money there is in the world. You can't do everything. It's just impossible. So no matter how much you do, how much you achieve, there's always going to be a sense of missing out from something else. So again, I'm not saying don't, don't shoot for the moon. What I am saying is be comfortable with where, where you are while you're trying to shoot for the moon. It's okay to have big dreams, but it's also okay to be happy with where you are. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to leave you with. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe so I, you know when I upload the next one. See you in the next video. Deuces.